Maybe you're thinking about improving your inventory photos with the current visiting photo vendor you're working with. Perhaps you've tried that already. Maybe you're thinking you'd like to have a studio and really make your car stand out online. Maybe you don't have the space for a studio. How would you improve your photos then? Perhaps you're ready to take the power into your own hands, hire a professional, and really get what you're looking for. In almost all cases where you know you can improve the merchandising photos or process at your dealership, you're probably right. In this webinar, I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons and the options that we have today in the automotive industry. Hi, my name is Peter Duffy and welcome to my home office up here in Northern California. A little bit about me. I have a beautiful wife who works with me every day, two bright, wonderful children. I love working outside and I have an incredible team that I work with every day and I absolutely love my job in the auto industry. I'm a professional photographer. I'm an expert on auto dealer merchandising and I'm the CEO of the photo software company Dealer Image Pro. I feel really privileged to be able to share the knowledge I've gained over the years with you on auto dealer merchandising for this Used Car Weeks On Demand workshop series. My goal here today is that if everyone just gets a few tips, tricks, or the motivation to improve the inventory photos at their dealership, you'll be happy you did, and your sales staff and your customers will thank you for it. Part one, let's talk about what we know. It's 2021. If we knew that photos were the most important thing a dealership could do to bring a car to market before the pandemic, we certainly know now that photos and merchandising are vital to the buying process of a vehicle for the modern auto dealership and its customers. We know that a car with no photos receives no clicks. No clicks means no leads. There are tons of studies out there by all the big inventory management and website companies that show evidence for this. Think Cox Automotive, Dealer.com, Inventory Plus, and many others. They all recommend great photos online as fast as possible drives attention to your inventory. We know that great photos create a better representation of your dealership brand, they clean up your website, and subsequently, that customers have a better online experience because of that. Think about any burger joint you've ever been to. They don't have sloppy burger pictures because that's not appetizing to their customers. People put their best photos on dating sites because they want someone to notice them. Your inventory photos are the first thing that customers see that represent your dealership on third-party sites. I'm gonna repeat that because it's probably the most important thing I'm going to say today. You should write this down. My inventory photos are the first thing that my customers see that represent my dealership online. Think about your photos right now. Are they a great representation of your dealership and would you be having a good experience if you were one of your customers. We know that because a car is a depreciating asset, time to market is crucial in getting the most money or gross for your cars. In the auto business, where every minute counts, you simply need to have photos of your cars online right after they come out of recon. Because if that's what your competitors are doing and you're not, you're missing out. Lastly, we know at scale, time to market is so crucial it means your dealership could quite possibly turn your inventory one or a few more times per year. And depending on the size of your dealership, that can mean tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in revenue, or even millions for a larger auto group. Why wouldn't you present your customers with the proper photos to give them the best information to make the best decision in the best possible way? Part two. Should I use a visiting photo vendor or take my photos in-house? This is a great question. There are pros and cons to both, and it's totally a personal preference. There are visiting vendors that do a decent job. Typically, visiting photo vendors need to move fast and resort to snapshots, or what I like to call lot shots. Some photo vendors are really great, and some aren't. It's the age-old saying, if you want things fast and cheap, you're usually going to have to sacrifice some type of quality. I personally don't like lot shots. They're not very flattering for the car, and so for the customer, they leave something to be desired. If a customer experience is lacking, the photos are typically not a great representation of your dealership's brand or your inventory. 
Photo vendors, however, are quite convenient. There's not much you need to do, and although you're paying for profit on labor, you typically don't have to manage an employee. Lastly, with a visiting vendor, you're obligated to their schedule, which can affect your time to market, especially on weekends when getting cars online is so important. When taking your photos in-house, you have two options. You can use any number of photo softwares or apps made for a variety of devices, or you can choose to use a traditional camera. When choosing a photo app or software, be cautious about ease of use or the liability of having apps for your business on an employee's phone or device. Although some apps or software are great, many have no personal service, little training, and little to no oversight, which puts the responsibility ultimately on the dealer. There are, however, some great photo software solutions out there today that are state of the art, provide extensive training, provide the equipment, are super operationally efficient, and provide the best time to market while getting some pretty incredible results. Many of them have easy ways to do video, 360, interactive spins, to keep your customers engaged on VDPs for a little bit longer. Perhaps one of the best pros of photo apps or software is that you don't need to be a professional to get great results. Because of the camera technology on phones and tablets nowadays, ranging in the tens of millions of pixels, for the purpose of photographing vehicles at a modern auto dealership where quality and speed are the name of the game, with the exception of super high-end exotic or rare cars, traditional cameras are almost obsolete. Taking photos of 15 to 20 cars per day, downloading a memory card to a computer, resizing, reordering, managing, and uploading the photos is pretty ridiculous at this point. Integrated apps or software simply crush traditional cameras in terms of operational efficiency, often having equal or superior results to traditional cameras. If time to market is important to you, the future of merchandising for progressive auto dealers is taking control of your photos and doing everything in-house with some type of software. Part three, we don't have any room for a studio on our property. What are our options? When shooting your vehicles outside, it's important to stage your vehicles, meaning find a place that is suitable on your property and use that location to photograph all your vehicles from that point forward. This does several things. It provides an actual photo or merchandising process for your dealership, or an actual place to take photos and creates visual consistency across your inventory. When choosing a place at your dealership, the number one priority is to find the place on your property where the photographer can face north towards the vehicle so the sun is at their back while photographing your cars. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west, you can pretty much photograph a car facing south and be sure the light is even on any vehicle for a better part of the day. Equally important to staging your vehicles is to eliminate distractions. There shouldn't be any poles, trees, or other cars in the background of your photos. For example, if you can find a neutral colored wall, beige, light gray, or even white, or you can even put up a solid vinyl fence this immediately cleans up the backgrounds and eliminates distractions for your customers. It makes your vehicle stand out on third-party sites from any competitors taking lot shots and cleans up your listings pages and your VDPs. Finding a south-facing neutral colored wall on your property to photograph your cars starting today can clean up your website almost overnight. If anyone would like to contact me by email, I'd be happy to jump on a 10 minute virtual meeting where we can look at a satellite map of your dealership on Google and I or one of our staff members can help you choose a great location. No questions asked. My email is at the bottom of the screen. Another option for clean backgrounds are background removals. If you absolutely cannot find a clean south facing wall in your property, another option you'll have with many visiting vendors or software options is to have the backgrounds digitally removed from the exterior shots of your vehicles. A little side note on background removals is, don't use a photo of your dealership as your fake background. It's pretty cheesy and you're not fooling anyone. Most of all, your customers. Keep it simple and free from distractions for your customers. Part four, we have plenty of room for a studio. Should we DIY the studio ourselves or should we purchase one of the many studios available on the market? Now some dealerships have plenty of room for a studio, but they ask themselves, should we DIY the studio ourselves or should we purchase one of the many studios available on the market? 
Here's a little secret about studios. They're not that difficult to DIY, and they don't have to cost a lot. To DIY a studio at your dealership, you just need a good space inside, lots of great light, paint, and flooring. You can almost make a car studio from everything at Home Depot. If you really want to get fancy, you can purchase a turntable. Although a turntable isn't entirely necessary, and they can cost as much or more as your entire studio. When choosing an inside space for a studio, size definitely matters. A 24 by 30 foot space is ideal. You can also get away with a 20 by 26 foot space as well. The most important thing here is the rectangular shape. You should be using a rectangular room so you can stand far enough away from the vehicle to prevent distortion. The closer you stand to the vehicle while shooting it, the more distorted it becomes. So if you use a 24 by 24 foot square room, for example, your cars will be distorted or look cartoony or bulging in shape. This is never a good representation of a vehicle to a customer. Here's another great secret. Just because you have a great new studio doesn't make your staff a great photographer. The perfect studio is the same as the perfect camera. They're only as good as the person using them. Either use software that will assist hire a person that has taken at least a few photography classes or hire someone that has some natural talent. There are several all-in-one pre-made studios for auto dealers on the market. They vary greatly in lighting and results. Some have decent lighting, some do not. Some provide decent results, again, some do not. Almost all of them are more expensive than building your own studio. Some have very long-term contracts, as much as five years, and charge you for service when they need to be repaired. This is absolutely unnecessary. Pre-made studio solutions on the market typically range from $35,000 to $100,000. Without adding the cost of a turntable, you can typically DIY a studio for $15,000 to $30,000. Part five, should we have video? Now a big request we have right now is, should we have video? Video of your cars on your VDPs is super important. This is 2021. People engage in video. Just think about it. You're talking about YouTube, TikTok, Vimeo, social media outlets, etc. People like watching videos. Videos for your pre-owned cars are great investment in your website and VDPs and totally contributes to customer engagement and customer experience and keeping them around your website longer. My personal opinion is that new cars don't really need video. There are so many great videos out there on YouTube with all the newest models from the OEMs to the social media influencers that cover all the new vehicle models. Your videos should be going to YouTube to gather additional SEOs for your dealership's website and they should be available to share from there for your social media channels to maximize that one piece of content. Video should be easy and part of the process. Again, it comes down to process. The video capturing process needs to be easy and built into your photo capturing process. Otherwise, this can be really frustrating. How easy it is to capture and get the videos up on your website for your dealership is the trick. Visiting vendors are going to struggle with this. Although certainly not in all cases, from a visiting vendor, typically you end up with videos of moving pictures rather than actual video clips. Moving picture slideshows are not video in my opinion. These are pretty boring and less engaging. In-house photo video and 360 solutions are the clear winner for video. You really want a full motion video clips of decent quality, a little music, some dealership branding, logos and such with VIN specific voiceover in order for customers to actually watch. Any video of your vehicle should be about a minute to a minute 15 seconds or so. You never want a VDP video that's over 90 seconds. Most people won't click the play button or make the time to watch something that long. Paying $5 a car for each video seems like a reasonable price and a good investment for your dealership. The end goal is to have a video that's decent quality, informative, and easy to watch. Part six, what else can we do to improve inventory photos for our customers? So what can you do to improve your inventory photos for your customers right now? There are a number of best practices you can do to improve your photos starting tomorrow that cost absolutely nothing, immediately improve your photos, and improve your customer experience. 
For a PDF of best practices, feel free to email me at peter at dealerimagepro.com. First, stage your vehicles. Decide as a company where you'll stage your vehicles from this point forward. Decide as a company where this will work for the best flow of your dealership. This is key to providing uniformity and consistent content for your customers and your brand moving forward. In the case of displaying any product, clean backgrounds are imperative to create professional photos or photos like a professional. Again, staging your vehicles in a well-lit studio, garage, or indoor space is best. When an indoor space is not available, use a south-facing neutral colored wall. A tree line or a green belt on the dealer property is acceptable. Next, and probably the most obvious, are clean vehicles. Nobody likes a dirty car, especially when they're shopping online and are thinking about purchasing one. Present the vehicle in showroom condition, as if you were delivering it to the customer. The vehicle should be fully detailed. All surfaces should be free of dust, dirt, and grime. Engine bays should be cleaned. Tire shine applied. No paper floor mats. No foreign objects, water bottles, or garbage. Having clean, detailed vehicles is probably the single most important thing you can do for having acceptable photographs of your inventory. Dress the vehicle. Again, present the vehicle in showroom condition as if you were delivering it to a customer. Remove all the windshield pricing and model year stickers. Manufacturer stickers or buyer's guides are acceptable. All seat headrests should be down and at the lowest position. Front seats should be evenly positioned. Folding back seats are upright. Telescopic steering wheels and tilt steering should be all the way down and all the way in. No gauge cluster warning should be illuminated. Steering wheels should be straight with the logo in an upright position. Navigation map should always be displayed if the vehicle has navigation. Another great way to continue your branding is using dealer logo plate inserts and frames. It provides a more uniform and neater look for the vehicles when presented online. Dealer logo plates also provide another layer of brand recognition. Never have plate frames from another dealership on your vehicles. And probably one more that's super obvious, but have a steady camera or device. A little pride in your work. Hold your camera or device steady when capturing photos. A steady camera or device is vital to sharp, clean, crisp photos. Blurry photos should not represent your vehicles or dealer brand and should be deleted from any vehicle. Once again, my name is Peter Duffy and I'm the CEO of Dealer Image Pro. You can find our company at dealerimagepro.com and feel free to email me with any questions you might have regarding your merchandising at your dealership and I'll do my best to help you out, no strings attached. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.